Welcome to Nitric Oxide, the key to sexual health and cardiovascular fitness. This is Dr. Judson Brandeis, Chief Medical Officer of Affirm Science and Director of Quality Excellence for Gainswave. I am a board certified urologist with an expertise in sexual medicine. The purpose of this webinar is to discuss what happens in the body to cause erectile dysfunction or ED and how nitric oxide improves sexual function. Men know about Cialis and Viagra and the TV commercials for these medications targeted towards men with erectile dysfunction. Most men do not know that nitric oxide research played a critical role in the development of this class of medications. The importance of nitric oxide goes well beyond male sexual function. Erectile dysfunction can be a warning sign for underlying cardiovascular disease. This webinar is approximately 20 minutes in length with 27 slides. It does include technical and scientific details, so let's get started. Erectile dysfunction, ED, or the inability to achieve and maintain an erect penis for sexual function can lead to performance anxiety, a negative impact on self-esteem and personal relationships, and even clinical depression. For many men, the inability to perform adequately during sex directly affects their feelings of overall confidence. If you are a male over the age of 40 and you have gone to your doctor for an annual checkup, your physician may have asked you if you are having problems maintaining an erection. The reason for this question has little to do with poor sexual function. Instead, your physician is asking you this question because erectile dysfunction can be an early warning sign for diabetes and or circulatory problems. You might be wondering what diabetes and heart issues have to do with erections. The story starts with a small molecule called nitric oxide, which in this case is a signaling molecule. What this means is that it causes something else to occur and without it, the event cannot take place. For men, Nitric oxide is absolutely necessary for an erection. Without nitric oxide, there'll be no erection. With reduced nitric oxide production, you'll have a weak erection. Proper nitric oxide production helps you maintain proper sexual function. Now let's take a look at a review article from the Journal of Geriatric Cardiology on nitric oxide. As you can see from the graph, as you age, your body's production of nitric oxide declines. In the average man, by the time they're 45, their nitric oxide production has decreased 50% of normal. And by the time they're 70, their nitric oxide production is below 20%. Even with good diet and exercise, by age 70, most men are well below 50%. Think of this like a dimmer switch. If the light in the room is at 30%, you might be able to walk around, but you won't be able to speed read or do surgery. From a vascular perspective, your normal blood pressure is 120 over 80, but during an erection, the blood pressure in the penis reaches 300 or more. Now let's look at the next part of the story. You might be thinking of the obvious organ that is most closely associated with male performance in the bedroom. Well, we're gonna introduce you to another organ that most people have never heard of, but it is critical to sexual function. It's called the endothelium. It's the organ that produces nitric oxide from the amino acid L-arginine. Believe it or not, your endothelium is actually an organ. It is only one cell thick, but it lines your entire cardiovascular system, including your heart, arteries, and veins. Even your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. Research has clearly shown your endothelium to be a multifunctional organ involved in metabolic, immunologic, and cardiovascular health. The endothelium is so important that the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers who discovered how your endothelium converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, the master signal molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. Most vascular researchers now believe that it is your endothelium that ultimately determines the health of your cardiovascular system and your cardiovascular system plays a critical role in sexual performance. There is an even more important issue 
that needs addressing than the poor performance in the bedroom. Research has shown that erectile dysfunction is really a function of poor cardiovascular health. Having ED can predict that a man will probably have heart disease symptoms within five years. In fact, having ED is a much riskier factor for heart disease than a history of smoking or a family history of coronary artery disease. Now the discovery of Viagra is a fascinating story. Originally, scientists were testing Viagra as a heart drug. At the end of the trial, the research subjects did not want to give their medication back. Guess why? The patients told the researchers that their erections were harder, firmer, and lasted longer. Since Viagra helps males achieve an erection, we need to talk a little anatomy. In its simplest terms, an erection is the change in position of the male genitalia, which is accomplished by increasing penile blood pressure. The male organ contains two cylindrical structures called corpora cavernosa that run the length of the penis. Arteries bringing blood into these two chambers with veins carrying the blood away from them. In a non-erect state, the blood flow from the arteries is restricted while the veins are open to drain the blood away. When a man becomes sexually excited, the arterial blood vessels open up so that the pressurized blood can enter the corpora cavernosa. The veins leaving the male organ are constricted by the expanding corpora. This action traps the pressurized blood, resulting in a full erection. It is essential for our body to control blood flow. When you are running a race, your blood needs to be diverted to your muscles. After a large meal, blood needs to be diverted to the digestive tract. Think of your circulatory system as an elaborate design of pipes with valves. These valves control blood flow and divert blood to the areas that need it the most. We are about halfway through the webinar and this is going to get a little scientific. The way that the control mechanisms work starts with the following steps. After sexual stimulation, the brain sends a signal to the nerves in the male genitalia. The nerves release nitric oxide into the synapse. The nitric oxide acts as a signaling molecule to stimulate the enzyme called guanylate cyclase. This enzyme combines with GTP to produce a chemical called cyclic GMP. Cyclic GMP tells the smooth muscle of the arterial blood vessels to relax. This allows for increasing blood flow causing an erection. There's another enzyme called phosphodiesterase or PDE that deactivates the cyclic GMP by turning it back to GTP. When the GMP is deactivated, the smooth muscle returns to its original constricted state. Cyclic GMP is produced as long as there is stimulation of the male genitalia that creates signals that initiate the production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is produced as long as there is an adequate supply of the amino acid L-arginine and no damage to the surrounding endothelial cells, which make up the organ called the endothelium. The most common reason men suffer from ED is a lack of nitric oxide in the blood vessels of the corpora cavernosa. The creators of Viagra cleverly solved this problem. In order to increase blood flow to the male organ, you have three options. Increase the amount of nitric oxide produced in the arterial blood vessels, increase the amount of cyclic GMP produced in response to the nitric oxide, or eliminate the PDE that converts the cyclic GMP back to GTP. This causes the smooth muscles of the arterial blood vessels to relax properly and fill with blood. Viagra uses option number three to achieve an erection. There are 11 different kinds of PDE in your body but only one type of PDE found in the male genitalia. That type is called PDE5. Sildenafil citrate, or Viagra, selectively blocks PDE5, and here's how it works. After a male takes Viagra, the drug attaches to the PDE5 enzyme. When a male is sexually aroused, the man's brain sends a signal to the nerve cell, which produces nitric oxide, which turns on the cycle of creating cyclic GMP to dilate the arterial blood vessels. Since the PDE5 is disabled, the cyclic GMP does not break down, but builds up, allowing the arterial blood vessels to stay dilated. 
the man achieves a full erection. Great stuff when it works perfectly, but there are a few minor problems. Almost every drug made by man has side effects and Viagra is no exception. Viagra blocks PDE5, but can also affect PDE6, which is used by the cone cells in the retina. This can affect color vision, which makes men see the world in a bluish tinge for several hours. The other main side effects are headaches and flushing and reflux. The blocking of the PDE can spill over to other areas of the body, causing uncontrolled vasodilation. Because Viagra is a prescription drug rather than an over-the-counter drug, always consult a qualified physician before taking any PDE5 inhibitor. Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra clearly help men with erectile dysfunction when they are used properly under the guidance of a qualified physician. However, these drugs are treating a symptom more than the underlying problem, which is the insufficient production of nitric oxide. It is a warning sign for other potential health concerns that could affect your overall wellness and cardiovascular health, including strokes and heart attacks. Low nitric oxide can even accelerate the development of neurological issues like Alzheimer's disease and dementia by reducing blood flow to the brain. The blood vessels in your body are not like metal pipes. They're elastic. When your heart beats, a bolus of blood is sent into the aorta, the largest artery in your body. The aorta stretches and then relaxes. This is why you have a systolic and a diastolic blood pressure. Your arteries also contract and relax, and this is why you have a pulse. Over time, as nitric oxide levels decline, arteries become stiffer and less elastic, so your heart has to pump harder to deliver blood to the periphery. You may not think that this is a big deal, but consider this. In one day, your blood travels a distance more than the circumference of the entire United States. And if you took all the blood vessels out of an average adult and lined them up, they would be 100,000 miles long. Now you see why blood pressure is so important. Nitric oxide, when at sufficient levels in the bloodstream, will help to repair damage done to the endothelium and keep it free from plaque formations and calcification. It also maintains the elasticity of blood vessels, even if they are not calcified. In addition, nitric oxide keeps platelets from sticking together. This helps to prevent blood clots and naturally reduces your risk of stroke and heart attack. You can see why nitric oxide is critical in maintaining a normal blood pressure. Hang in there, we're heading to the home stretch. I hope you understand how a healthy endothelium and proper nitric oxide production work together to improve sexual function as well as overall health. You must properly nourish your endothelium with nutritional supplements that boost nitric oxide. A firm contains four natural ingredients that boost your nitric oxide levels. This is a copy of the abstract that I presented to the scientific community at the Sexual Medicine Society of North America meeting in Miami. A firm was studied in combination with Gaines Wave shockwave therapy. The results show that Gaines Wave with a firm improves shim scores in men by 5.2 points. This means that a man taking Viagra will likely no longer need this medication, and a man who no longer has success with Viagra may start having success in the bedroom again. The four ingredients in a firm, L-citrulline, red beetroot extract, Murapuwama, and Panax Asian ginseng, were specifically chosen because they have been shown in scientific studies to not only boost nitric oxide, but also improve erectile function. You may be wondering why we use L-citrulline rather than L-arginine. L-arginine is metabolized by the liver before it gets into the bloodstream. L-citrulline is converted into L-arginine in the body, which makes the L-arginine available to be a nitric oxide donor. A firm has four ingredients because the variability of response is normal in biologic systems, and our patients will likely respond to a greater or lesser extent to each of these ingredients, 
but will likely have a strong nitric oxide boosting response to at least one of the components. A firm is a high quality product using a standardized compound procedure in consistent batches and manufactured according to strict manufacturing practices, GMP. It is vegan, vegetarian, nut-free, caffeine-free, and contains no artificial colors or flavors. A firm is made in the USA from quality, globally sourced ingredients. You might be asking yourself, why tablets instead of capsules? In order to combine the four ingredients in the optimal amounts, we needed to move from capsules to tablets. Capsules hold a limited amount of supplement powder, whereas tablets can hold more active ingredient in a smaller space. I have found that the best way for me to take the tablets is to turn them on their side. They seem to slide down easier that way. Our 180 pill bottle was specifically designed for patients starting Gaines Wave treatment. We recommend a loading dose of two pills twice a day while patients are undergoing Gaines Wave. Many of our patients are deficient in nitric oxide and this loading dose brings them closer to normal levels. I find that while they're taking a loading dose of a firm, they have better morning erections and notice that they are mentally sharper. In addition, they respond earlier to Gaines Wave treatment. If they take two pills twice a day for a six week course, the 180 pill bottle will cover the entire course of treatment. The 60 pill bottle is a monthly maintenance of two pills per day. I find that patients have a longer lasting response to Gaines Wave by continuing a nitric oxide booster. A firm can be taken with or without food at any time of the day, but it is better to take with food and a glass of water. A firm is priced reasonably as compared to other branded nitric oxide boosters and our tablets hold more active product. Our goal is to make it affordable for our patients to achieve the benefits of taking a nitric oxide booster. A firm boosts nitric oxide. You cannot live without nitric oxide. Your cardiovascular system would not function properly without nitric oxide. The sexual health of your body revolves around the production of nitric oxide and the endothelial cells that line your blood vessels rely on nitric oxide. Get back up today and order a firm. Thank you for your attention. You can order a firm at affirmscience.com. For any questions about a firm or the content of this webinar, please contact me at cmo at affirmscience.com.